How's it going guys? My name is Damien. Welcome back. Bringing you my review for episode 15 of Arrow. This is the final episode for a little while. The show is going on break just like The Flash did. If you haven't seen the episode, as always, feel free to click off and come back later to hear my thoughts and opinions. But let's get right into it. This was a very, very anticipated episode for me personally and I know for a lot of other people as well. This is an episode, the episode is called Nanda Parbat and rightfully rightfully named it was a really really good episode in so many different ways there are it always amazes me and i mentioned this whenever an episode happens to hit the, these types of high notes where you only have 42 total minutes realistically of actual airtime when you remove commercials and you're able to do so much with those very very precious minutes so this episode had a lot of focus on Razal Ghul and also Ray Palmer. The Ray Palmer scenes were really, really important in this in this episode, and I really hope that he gets some more scenes down the line. I know he is a guest star officially on this show, and at any time he could be just gone from the show, and we probably won't see him for a while. But I hope that day doesn't come for a little, for at least for another season. That would be great if he stuck around during season four because. Right now, he really hasn't been present that much, but when he's here, it's just really, really great, and I really thoroughly enjoyed his scenes. I'm going to do a separate video specifically talking about Ray Palmer, maybe tomorrow or maybe right after this, so you know you guys can look out for that if you'd like. I'll just talk a lot more about the, the character Adam and just give my thoughts on his suit in more detail. All I can say in this video is the suit was really, really great. I like the way they actually the design of the suit is is on point you know for the budget of the show no complaints there I felt that it was a little rushed maybe with him getting the suit on but that's only because to us as the viewer we're not really seeing a lot of Ray Palmer on the show but there's a lot of you know background stuff that's been happening when they have these jumps like a week has gone by you know in this episode from last episode so it's like a lot of things that that go on in the background to really kind of explain his progression with the Adam suit and he's been working on this for a while so that kind of you know balances it, it out but it does feel like it was a little rushed I guess and there's nothing you can really do about that but the, the overall pacing isn't really that bad but just something that I noticed so outside of that the scenes between him and Felicity yet again are really really great they have an amazing relationship together I think ultimately what is going to maybe break them apart is when she really finds out what his goal is with this Adam suit and she'll kind of see it's like an Oliver situation all over again and then it might not work out for that reason maybe not who knows but ultimately there's no way they're going to stay together because he's not a recurring character or he's not an official character for the show he's just you know, got a few guest appearances in specific episodes, so I think that's really where that's going to go, but it's a shame because I really enjoy their scenes together as well, and I'll do a specific video talking about the two of them probably right after this as well, so I'm, I think I'm just going to do three videos tonight, which will be a first for me, but I really enjoy their scenes, and it'll be really really disappointing when they you know officially break up and he leaves and and all of that but Brandon Roth he's doing a he's doing a great job definitely uh, a good casting choice on their part and of course the main highlight of the episode was Ra's al Ghul the scenes with him and Oliver there were a few scenes with Thea and and Roy and even some with Oliver but overall these characters are all in a very specific places and I it always I always found it interesting that so many people to touch on Laurel really quickly I always found it interesting that people didn't like her character I felt like she has been through so many different things and she is just someone who is she hasn't really experienced this is I'm talking about before all of this happened she was just a regular American girl that type of character you know what I mean and she had never really experienced these types of hardships in life so to have them all hit her the way they have throughout these seasons and for her to still be going really just makes her one of the most remarkable characters on the show and there's just a lot of character development when it comes to her so whenever I see people say that they don't like her or they hate her 
I'm not really sure why. I think maybe it's just a lot of people who think maybe she can potentially end up with Oliver again, so they just don't want that because they ship Oliver and Felicity. I'm not sure, but I've always enjoyed her character. I think she is going to be a great Black Canary once she gets better, and, you know, that's really all that needs to be said about that. So Katie Cassidy, she's doing a, a fantastic job, in my opinion, so hats off to her. You know, bonus points for her, for, for her effort and for her taking on a role like this. So to get to Ra's al Ghul, I think the, the big thing is his statement at the end of the episode. He wants Oliver to take his place, and that's, that's a pretty big deal. Uh, I've, I've seen that this show has, at least from a lot of, I don't know if they're viewers, but just a lot of people in general that are aware of the Ra's al Ghul situation, they're not a big fan because Ra's al Ghul is a character that has always been linked to Batman. And... He is one of Batman's most known villains and one of the ones that really just kind of has been around for a while when it comes to Batman. So why they are associating him with Arrow is surprising, I guess, to a lot of people. But at the same time, you know, I, I find it uh, I find it refreshing. I don't mind it at all. With him asking Oliver to take his place and be the new Ra's al Ghul and for him to step down, ultimately I think Oliver will say no. And... I'm not sure what's going to happen, but they're going, to, they're going to have to come to some kind of agreement where Ra's al Ghul gets phased out after Season 3, the same way Deathstroke was kind of phased out after Season 2. Something has to happen because these characters don't they don't stay around. They're kind of like they're, the main villain is always like a one-season kind of thing. So that could potentially lead for a cameo of Bruce Wayne, which would be really nice. It would be great if they did something like that in Season 4. It's a long shot, but, you know, you never you never know what could happen. I think it would be great if they if they had some kind of connection with Bruce Wayne and Ra's al Ghul. They could also make some kind of... They could go down a, a path on the story and say that he hadn't met Bruce Wayne just yet, and he was looking at Oliver as the replacement, and then now that he has met Bruce Wayne, this is his, his ultimate choice. Something like that they could swing, but either way, this was a great episode. Really, really good stuff right here, and I've noticed that there really just has been a lot of tension recently in on Team Arrow, and this is something that uh, doesn't usually happen, so it's interesting to see the way everything kind of plays out, but Felicity, obviously her and Oliver have this this tension that's always there but they kind of look at the greater good to work together so you know fantastic episode i really really loved it it was great uh, there's a lot a lot to be taken from this episode and it's actually an episode that i'm probably going to, going to rewatch because i've never usually never i don't think i've ever actually rewatched a single arrow episode i've rewatched specific scenes maybe like when oliver died at the hands of Ra's al Ghul and things like that but i've never really watched rewatch the entire episode. I think I'm going to do that with this one. This one was really great. The pacing was really good as well, especially for me personally. The Adam suit, really looking forward to it. It had kind of an Iron Man vibe, didn't it? So I, I enjoyed it. It's going to be really, really great. Oliver is going to be made to feel even smaller than he already is because, let's be realistic, the guy has a bow and arrow. We've got guys with super speed in Central City. We've got Ray Palmer with a suit. It's, it's going to be very difficult for him, but how he adjusts to that is is really what I want to see, and I hope they do some more. I enjoyed the flashbacks this week as well. Obviously, he was not just going to go home and everything wasn't going to be well. There's still more time before he officially returns. His five-year absence had not even been covered yet, so that was kind of weak that they did that because it's pretty obvious that he's not just going to go home and everything will be well, so... Let me know what you guys think about the episode. It was a great episode. So many different things that I could say about it. But overall, high quality stuff. It's on break. I'm going to do some bonus videos probably just you know next week and so on. Just kind of talking about different things. And I might share some thoughts on Oliver and Felicity again. And Ray Palmer and Felicity I will upload tonight. So look for that. Thank you for the support on the channel. Thank you for 300 subscribers. It means a lot. And I will see you guys in the next video. My name is Damien.